Hey leaders, welcome to the weekend preview video for September 11th and 12th. Are you ready? Let's preview the heck out of this thing. So this month, we are going to be starting a new series in the Loop Show on the topic of creativity. So quick show of hands, who automatically feels underqualified? Well, I'm raising my hand because I know that in my mind, creativity is a very specific thing that I don't do very well. But I think that's probably because my idea of creativity can be very limited in its scope. The Bible, I believe, has a larger, more robust idea of what creativity is, and that is what we are going to be considering this month. Creativity doesn't just mean that we are good at drawing or that we can take mud and like turn it into a sculpture of a person, you know? It's, <laughs> it's way more than that. It's taking things and ideas and people and seeing where they're at, what state they are in. And if we find and identify darkness around us, that we begin to take the light of God and begin to shape whatever's formless, whatever's void, whatever's dark, and bring light to that. So that's what we're going to be talking about this month. And we're going to start this first week off by focusing on the creativity of God and look at how God being a creator shapes us in who we are. So that's the overview. Let's jump into what it's going to look like in our activity. The activity this weekend is called the something from nothing activity. And as you can imagine, that's pretty misleading because good luck trying to create something from nothing. We just can't do it because we're not God, but we are made in God's image, and God has given us materials and resources available to us to help us to think creatively about how we can benefit and steward this, the creation around us for the best purpose possible. In the Bible verse this weekend, we're going to be talking about how we can take things that are in darkness and help bring light to those things. And, uh, and so it may be good to start this activity before you get into any of the practical things, discussing what are some of the areas around us where we see darkness? What are areas where animals are experiencing darkness? The environment, plants, humans, structures around us are experiencing darkness. And what are some ways that we can think about bringing light into those things? Light meaning something that illuminates and brings uh, clarity and helps heal the things around us that are broken. So brainstorm first and then get into your bins and look at what materials that you've been given to help come up with a fun, creative solution to whatever problems that you've identified. So in your guys' bags, there's going to be 10 straws and 10 tinfoil sheets, um, and those are going to be used at their discretion. They get the chance to be creative. And I would encourage you to remind them it doesn't have to be real. That what they create doesn't have to actually solve a problem, but it can be used to, to imagine how they, this thing, whatever they come up with, could, could solve an issue that they see in the world around us. Something that's dark around us that they can bring light to through this creative thing with straws and tinfoil. All right, so that's the, the idea for the activity. Um, I would encourage you to, to transition from that activity into reading and discussing the, the Bible verse for this month and identifying a challenge that they can um, take on this week to begin to think about creativity in a different way and how they can choose to be creative to the different people and things that they encounter during their week. All right, come uh, ready for the huddle 30 minutes prior to service. I won't be there this weekend. Originally, Hoofest was going to be this weekend, and so I took the weekend off. Um, and even though it's not going, I just decided to stick with that uh, time off commitment. And so Sam Shad is going to be teaching this weekend at the Saturday and Sunday service. He'll be leading and directing the huddle. So come wearing your Team Kids shirts. Uh, he's excited to lead with you and, uh, and come ready to help kids find and follow Jesus.
should be fun. All right, I'll see you guys later and, uh, and have fun this weekend. Bye.